Alright, let's see. Gen Alpha is already doomed, bro. Let's see. I haven't seen a lot of Gen Alpha bullshit lately. And I ain't gonna lie, most of it is just hate. Like, niggas are just straight up hating. Gen Alpha is doomed. Gen Alpha kids are low-key doomed. My sister is fine. Oh, Gen Alpha. People talking about how they're all sped, talking about how their attention spans are cooked, uh, talking wait. about how they all finna be degenerates, and they're finna be- 30 more minutes of Cardi drop, fam. I'm excited. Jerking off to fucking OnlyFans porn all day. If I'm keeping it real, shit, not gonna lie. Them niggas low-key's bitch. Because with how Gen Z turned out, you can only imagine Gen Alpha would just be a worse version of us. I agree. And I don't even think I that agree. we're that I agree. bad. Like, there's plenty of other worse generations out there. Like, Gen X, hey, a lot of y'all niggas love to go get the milk and never come back. But overall, today, we're finna talk about Gen Alpha. And we're really finna break down the reasons on why that generation is absolutely cooked. Let's go. Reason number one. The schooling. Would y'all suck a dick to save y'all mom's life? Yeah, I actually said that. But if you want to see me say more wild shit, tap into the streams. See, I stream every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. And every single time I stream, I say wilder and wilder shit. And if I said on YouTube, I would probably get banned. Drake's dick. If y'all seen the link, what y'all rate his dick? That's not gay. It's just asking an objective question. So if you want to see more shit like that, go follow the Twitch and tap into the streams. And fuck it, let's try to get 100,000 followers on Twitch. Let's go ahead and break that record. Let's go ahead and do this shit. Let's show the fucking world how strong Sky Crew is. So go follow the Twitch. Bye-bye. Reason number one. The schooling. See, I feel like school for Gen A is just a fucking joke at this point. You think so? People still go to school? Nah, boy. The teachers don't give a fuck. Oh, the students don't give a fuck. And nowadays, school is more of a social event than anything else anyways like out of i ain't gonna lie that issue bro like towards the, the end of my my time bro um i was just a drip it was just to see how many videos i could get but i'm like back in high school but it was too easy to get girls bro i didn't get any though so don't look at me but bro it, i'm thinking looking back on it i'm like you're forcing these people every day I, I wish I wish I low-key look better in high school, but I probably would have had better shot. Four years of high school, I honestly couldn't tell you one thing I've actually learned. And I'm pretty sure we can say the same thing for Gen A, because a lot of them were on the spectrum. <laughs> like, oh, like, school is really just a hangout spot for high schoolers. I school, agree. Bro. Motherfuckers be rolling dice and shit, cutting hair at the school, fucking hoes, all while being faded for most of it. Like, I've seen more hot boxes in the bathroom than actual people on the principal list. And a part of this generation of school is Gen Z. But a lot of y'all Gen Alpha motherfuckers are learning from your predecessors. Like, I be seeing young ass 12 year olds doing crazy shit bro y'all be doing everything that the older niggas be doing to i promise you i saw a 13 year old with autumn bro back when that whole i guess it was crazy bro 15 years old bro with a grown 22 7 27 year old lying about her age bro these kids are trying to grow up too fast for what reason so it could be a, so it could be a hoe early on a teen it is crazy old. and very scary like a lot of people think just because gen alpha is young that they don't be doing shit like no bro i'm gonna I'm I'm let you know everything that i listed Gen Alpha does. Even though all of them niggas are young. If you don't believe me, go to a middle school. I'm telling you, it will blow your mind. It's really- If I go to a TikTok school, uh, I mean, a TikTok school, bro, which is really what it is, bro. If I go to a middle school, I'll literally be cringing the whole day. Because they're going to be saying Kai Sinat, Giat, Rizzler, bro. They're just going to be saying all the TikTok technology about my thought, bro. Hey, my fault, bro. I know how it be, bro. Go, to, go, go do your thing, fam. really just sad because back- Actually, I'm surprised the chat box didn't pull up. Actually, that is a problem. Yeah, here you go. It should be working now. Well, I would. Let me check. Let me check something real quick. I right, okay, we good now. Twelve. Nigga. Well, I was fucking, but like I'm different. But back when most people were twelve, they were just chilling, mm -hmm. watching cartoons and shit. Facts. When I was twelve years old, bro, I was watching Ninjago. I was watching. I was watching all the classics, bro. Fucking video games. They weren't trying to fuck some hoes and smoke. I beg your pardon. Video games. They weren't trying to. No way, grown man did this. Honestly, bro. You just go ahead, do the world in favor, bro, and just delete your YouTube channel or whatever thing you you voted you did this on, because, bro, this is actually zesty, like this is bent, like this is flam, like not even flamboyant, it's straight zest. Fuck some hoes and smoke pause. Some gas, like they, they had other priorities, bro. They still were innocent. But I feel like that innocence has just kind of been knocked out of this generation, especially this generation coming up. And you're going to be seeing more and more degenerates as the time goes on. I feel like a big reason on why schools are such a joke nowadays is because they're built for the wrong thing. The whole school system is just fucked up right now. Schools are built to make nine to five workers, slaves to the fucking matrix for all these billionaires. I, I concur. I, I, it's my theory that school is what you make it. If you believe that it's a nine to five, you see it as a nine to five. 
But if you believe this is a way to further yourself in life, it will be a way for your for your yourself in life. And if you don't like it, you don't like it. Simple as that. You know, find something else to do while you're in school. There's you. But make sure you don't fail. So they don't get crash richer out. while you stay the same. Like, why do you think they give you so much work? And while the school hours are from 7 to 3, they're trying to condition you to get used to a regular job. All the busy classwork you get in school is to simulate the busy work you'll be doing while you have a job. But waking up at 7 a.m. to go to a fucking school that you don't want to go to. 7 a.m., my brother, bro. I was working at 7 10. I was not. I was not waking up on time for no bus. Like, you waking up at 9 a.m. to go to a fucking job that you don't want to go to. And all the homework you get is just teaching you to get used to overtime. It's all a part of the fucking system. School is made to make workers and slaves, not actual functional human beings that have dreams that are yeah, actually. Yeah, like, back early on, bro, you, you know, have you seen that slave video? That's actually wild. If you to make the workers and slaves, not actually. Like that one, bro? I don't, I'm trying to go back into it used to overtime it's all a part of the fucking system school is made to make workers and slaves see that image right here bro don't 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 look up that image bro don't look up a slave with a back beating bro like I, I wouldn't recommend it unless you're really into that graphic stuff i wouldn't recommend you do that actual functional really human beings that have dreams that are actually creative and actually want to do something with their life there's a reason why this society is so fucked right now which leads me to reason number two of why jen alpha is cooked everybody is a fucking degenerate Bro, the amount what you mean of by that, what you mean by that? What do you mean degenerate, bro? What do you mean by that? People I see nowadays is crazy. Like we're starting to see more and more people have less self-respect, less pride, and a lot of people are just losing. See that? See that build right here? Like we're starting to see more and more people have less self-respect, less see pride. See that build right here, bro? And this, a lot of people this, are that's just that's that that's that Discord that's that Discord body type, fam. He kind of spit in. See more and more I people agree. have less self-respect, but. Let's I'm gonna be honest with you, bro. Any, anytime I see somebody with this type of build, like the build that look like they don't take care of themselves, bro, they kind of dirty looking. I just imagine think you just a uh, chronic beater, horn addict, and you need, you just need help. Cause I don't know, this build just is just disgusting to look at, bro. Ride, and a lot of people are just losing moral principles that everybody just kind of follow. Like for instance, we have a whole generation coming up of people just doing crazy shit in public, harassing people, all for the sake of money and views. If that person has a life and a family, bro. Like they're not trying to be in your fucking video. And nowadays we're seeing more and more of people. Hey man, I'm telling you, like I said the other day, bro. If you show your body and you're a woman. And if you don't respect yourself, you will make millions, bro. Literally millions. All right, look at what this girl is doing. She's not even playing golf. I bet she took this picture and threw that golf, golf club away and literally went about her day. Like, bro, shoot. Show your body, man. Don't respect yourself. You make millions. Boring or selling their body just to get views and clicks. Like, like there's a lot more OnlyFans whores just popping out just because every day it's a new OnlyFans video. I was bro. literally watching a video about this on stream the other day, which by the way, go uh, check out the streams at 159 on Twitch. And this girl was telling her dad that she wanted to do OnlyFans as a business. I will, I saw what opportunity she wants to do OnlyFans as a business opportunity. I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, look, look, look. look. But I, I'm like, daughter, you could take that video. You could do you could do whatever you want. But after that, get out. I disown you. You are no longer my daughter, bro. What do you mean I want to do OnlyFans as a business opportunity? I want you, she want to do OnlyFans as a business opportunity. First off, it doesn't even look good as a business. You feel me? It don't even look good. What, like, she, she, she didn't even, she, yo, she didn't even think about saying that. She just want to be a thought. If you want to be a thought to say that, bro, she said, I want to do it as a business opportunity. If that's a nice way of saying, I want to show my body for some money, bro. That's literally the, the polite way of saying it, bro. And look at her dad's face. She's like, bro, this is some total cap, bro. My daughter just want to be throwing a bus, busting, busting her coochie open for people to pay her money, bro. That's what it sounded like to me. And she did this shit on a podcast. And the exact moment she told her dad this, you could see his soul leaving his body bro he was crushed the difference in our relationship versus the mass majority and the reaction most people would get i feel like and it can create and nowadays you got these little kids trying to go around school to fuck around bro like god damn they can go play go 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 to fuck yeah i remember there's a rumor back in my school there's like uh it was doing like lunch well my section lunch everybody had different lunch sections you know how i go but during lunch uh one one, uh, one of the lower classmen uh bust down a pregnant lady in in the middle of the parking lot bro i don't know how i got caught but hey, do what you and not, and I'm talking not not pregnant grown lady. I mean a pregnant uh, a, a, a student, bro. Busting it, bursting her down the parking lot, bro. It's kind of crazy. Recess, bitch. Like, what the fuck are you doing? Again, I'm saying this, but I knew he was doing the same thing. But we're gonna talk a little bit more about morals later. Let's get to the next topic. Another big problem with Jen Alpha is their attention spans, bro. Oh my 
God. Not like, in this generation, I swear to God, people who just can't pay attention to this shit. Well, can't even beat their old dick without getting bored nowadays, bro. I'm gonna and lie not to you. mention, people can't pay. If you can't stroke without getting bored, you're cooked. Bro, what school was that, bro? I can't even leak it, bro. Try, can't even leak it. Do I want to leak it? Nah, I don't want to leak it. I don't even know. I don't want to talk about it. Pay attention to class. I hate that place. It's the same school Javon went to, though. Speaking to them, like people's attention spans are all cooked nowadays. And a big reason for that is TikTok. This Chinese app has done irreversible damage to this generation, bro. I swear to God. Like the fact that most people can't listen to a man talk without some Minecraft gameplay at the bottom and some subtitles on that shit is just crazy. And this should be happening in real life, too, bro. Like, have you noticed that more and more people don't make eye contact with you? The reason why they do this is because they're just bored of you talking. Like, I'm not even going to lie to me. If you, if you are a grown person and I'm talking to you as a grown person and if you can't make eye contact with me because your your, your attention span is so cooked, I'm not going to lie, you're finished. I'm, like, you're finished. There's nothing that can save you. If you can't hold eye contact with me while also having a conversation, you're done. There is nothing that can save you. I, that level of that that level of insanity, you're done. You're literally done. You're cooked. Finish. Finito. When people are engaged into the conversation, they're going to look at you eye to eye. But when they're not, they're going to be looking around, looking at their phone, and just overall I've never in my life done that. I can be talking to Aiden Ross about some trans people fucking a back. And niggas will not be paying attention, bro. Another big problem in Gen A is their entertainment, which is mindless attention grabbing bullshit. Hey, man, do what you got to do, bro. Do what you gotta do, bro. Hey, have fun with it. It just feeds their dopamine. Like, for instance, Gen Z as kids used to play outside. They used to hang out with their friends. Go bro, bike. I'm telling you, bro, this, like, going outside with your friends was a five, bro. I didn't even get into YouTube until, like, fourth grade. Uh, yeah, I knew it. I didn't know what YouTube was until, like, like second grade. Then fourth grade, we started getting into it, bro. Besides that, that was it. Like, I was outside watching TV, going going outside, playing with the boys, riding bikes around the neighborhood, bro. That's vibing out, bro. You can't, you don't do that now. I barely see that. And when I do a crack, a smile on my face. It's like, bro, there's still hope in this world. You feel me? Get around the neighborhood. Go to the court, play basketball, play street football, which, by the way, was dangerous as shit. I don't know how our parents allowed that shit. We used to go outside and actually socialize with our friends. Yeah, we played video games, too, but it was more shit like Wii Sports, yeah, Xbox 360, like stuff, Minecraft, dude. shit like that. And it was more of an accessory than our actual yeah, life. Yeah, and we yeah, also yeah, had yeah, really yeah, good it. shows back then, too. Like, we had shows like Ninjago, Jesse, Kim Possible, Adventure Kicking Time, it, bro, Hell, Ball, even... Ball, Ball, Kids Next Door. You, you can't... You, you're naming... You're you're naming, you're naming the popular ones. You gotta name the real gems. Ours are the last airbender, bro. Regular show. F fanboy and chum chum. You feel me? Like, fairly odd. Yo, Ben Te Oh, I got to go on forever about this, bro. Bro, good luck, go Charlie, bro. Like, we had some good ass shows. But nowadays, y'all's entertainment is just TikTok, cooked, bro. Like, TikTok. it's just so it's bad. TikTok. Like, most of y'all are video game it's addicts. TikTok. You play all day, TikTok. playing Fortnite, COD, or some game like that. You don't touch no grass. Damn. You don't get no type of athleticism. Damn. Probably a little bit chubby. Damn. You probably stink, too. Damn. Like, this be hey. fucking real. Like, hey, yeah, bro, you're not taking I'm not gonna lie to you, brother. Day, bro. Like, when people talk about body odor, they're like, yeah, people have bad body odor. I've never experienced that until recently. When I tell you, bro, I walked, I was, I was in the store, right? I was behind this person. And when I tell you, I smelled the must of this person, bro. I literally almost cringe, bro. I almost cringe. I had to stop my facial expression from automatically doing it, bro. Because when he turned around, I was there staring at him. Bro, I've never smelled body odor, like actual body odor in my life, bro. I thought it was a joke. But like some people out here really stink and are dirty, bro. That's filthy. Bro, that's what I'm saying, bro. I'll tell you, bro. I remember, but I remember one time, right? My mom, my mom said I couldn't go outside, bro. I tell you, bro, I was crying tears of frustration because I literally couldn't take it anymore, bro. Because what do you mean I can't go outside? What else do you want me to do? TikTok wasn't a thing. I didn't want to play on a game because all the boys are outside. I want to play by myself. You feel me? So I don't know, bro. That's one thing I kind of hated with my parents is like they never really let me go outside as much as I would have liked to go. Because what, what am I gonna do inside while be bored out of my mind, bro? And get into other board because like when you're bored, the mind wanders, bro. Like, bro, I'm not trying to do that, bro. I'm trying to go outside with the boys. Shout out. I niggas not playing with toys. I'm not playing sports. Y'all either in the house playing the game or beating y'all dicks. And most importantly, y'all shit. Like, if you've been your meat more than two times a week, bro, you're kind of cooked. Those are so fucking bad now, bro. Like, the kids nowadays gotta watch Coco Melon or some fucking skibbity toilet. Yo, I'm telling you, bro, as a kid, if you put on Coco Melon in front of me, bro, I'm turning that off.
I didn't like Nick. I didn't like Nick Jr. I didn't like uh, Disney Jr. Bro, I didn't like any of that kid stuff. Bro, I like that that cartoon, bro, from the jump, bro. I if you put on uh, Nick Jr. or Disney Jr. for me, I'm literally walking away. The only show I could like is Backyard Against, uh, uh, Bubble Guppies. That, that theme song was hard, and Little Einsteins. That's it. Yeah, I think that's it. Shit. It's making it even worse. Y'all hey, uh, Cause since y'all have such trash TV, y'all are forced to watch streamers and YouTubers who make degenerate content too. Like now y'all generation stuck with people like Neon and shit. Like bro, come on, bro. <laughs> like y'all, y'all, y'all cooked, bro. Like imagine putting your child in the hands of someone like Neon, bro, and they grow up thinking having a whore girlfriend nah, and harassing people in public is a cool thing to do. These kids don't stand a chance on the treadmill either. Cause another thing about Gen A is that y'all's health. What's shit. Like y'all generation loves to eat, but hates the gym. Y'all be Facts. doing all types of DoorDash, McDonald's, or I don't, I, I don't care, bro. I don't. I, I can't do DoorDash, bro. I'm not rich enough for that, bro. I don't know how I people DoorDash every day. I don't know where you get the finances for that, bro. Dude, I just like a, it's like a hundred dollars every time I DoorDash, bro. Meanwhile, y'all not going outside, y'all not getting no exercise, and you're damn sure not going to the gym. So you're really just becoming a degenerate bum. And building those tendencies when you're young is a horrible thing to get into. Trust me, I used to be fat. And plus, with all this fat acceptance shit, like, bro, it's really just a combination for disaster. Facts, bro. bro. Like, if you really respect your body and you want to be a good human being, bitch, go to the fucking gym. There's nothing wrong with improving your body, bro. Like oh, heck no, bro. You're a millionaire, bro. What do you mean I DoorDash you right now, bro? I didn't even see this comment, bro. Kids don't believe hygiene no more. I believe you. You're a rich as heck, bro. Where you get the funds from? You got, you got, you got. This, this gotta be some type of. This gotta be some kind of money laundering scheme or something. What do you mean I throw that shit right now? You too rich, man. Like soon you enough, everybody's gonna money. start looking like the creatures from Wally. -E. And on top of that, everybody wants to be antisocial now. And I get a lot of people are antisocial. No, bro, I want to be social as heck, bro. I want to do everything, bro. I hate being inside the house, bro. If I'm not streaming or editing videos, bro, I don't want to be here, bro. I want to be out here getting some life experience. Because of the pandemic, and it still does affect a lot of people. But bro, I ain't gonna lie, it's been like four years, bro. It's 2024. If you're still talking about 2022 and talking about 2024 and the impact it had in your life, if it wasn't a big one, please move on i'm tired of hearing about it i don't care about 2020 no more that was four years ago bro you like bro please move on live your life especially bro i want you to hear me this bro i want you to hear me this bro i want you to hear this bro if you're the class of 2020 and please and still talking about i uh, talking about you didn't have a prom you didn't have a graduation let it go let it go it was four years ago you tell me in the four years since 2020, you haven't done anything extravagant in your life to surpass prom? Really? When I had prom 2022, bro, it was mid. You didn't miss out on anything. Trust me. All right? So go to the club and have your prom, okay? Respectfully. Or nigga, you gotta move on. You gotta start socializing. You gotta start going out. And bitch, there is no shame in putting the phone and controller down, bro. Like, go outside and talk to people. Like, so many people nowadays are just afraid to talk to people, bro. Like, bro, we're all humans. You can't hate human interaction. That's what we're built to do. Put the meat down. Go take a shower. Put some cologne on. Put a nice fit on. And go. You want some food for real? No, bro. I'm good. Bro, don't gotta spend money, bro. You gotta spend money, bro. I, I, literally, I literally just made some food, bro. I was chefing up in the kitchen earlier. To the fucking gym. Once you're done going to the fucking gym, get some bitches on your. I even went to Javon's. I even want to go out with Javon, but I didn't eat even then because I wasn't even hungry. Everything's gonna be all right. But something that's not all right though is parenting in Gen A, and this is why I really feel like all of this bullshit in Gen A is happening. Cause see, the parenting in Gen A is just atrocious. I'll, let's just be real. Most parents don't really monitor what their kids watch, so they're over here watching YouTube kids, thinking that YouTube kids is actually the kids. Meanwhile, they're watching Dora to explore, trying to explore something else. And plus, with the rise of porn and OnlyFans and all that shit, like you, you truly don't know what your kid is watching. These Facts. parents do not care. They're gonna give them an iPad so that the kid can stop bothering them and they can go do their own thing. Their kids are gonna grow up as filthy degenerates. And plus, a lot of these kids are starting to be more disrespectful and starting to lose morals. A lot of people think that's the kid's fault, but it's really the parents' fault. Because as a Yo, kid, everything a kid do is a reflection of their parents and their environment, bro. When a kid literally knows nothing, literally nothing. So everything they learn, everything they say, everything they do is literally based on what they see. Being disrespectful, that means your parents didn't teach you morals. And that's one of the most important things of being a parent. And I also mean the kid probably doesn't respect the parent either. So if your kid doesn't respect you, imagine what they'll do to their teachers. They'll probably be cussing them out the first day of kindergarten, bro. But I feel like respect has been lost with Gen A. And we gotta reclaim that shit if we wanna save this generation. And even if this generation does have bad flaws, let's not act like every single generation doesn't have flaws. Like, honestly, as a Gen Zer, I really shouldn't be talking. Like, we have been the worst generation by far. I disagree. Instance. 
But besides the JetX milk feeds. So besides that, that's pretty much it. Appreciate all y'all for watching. Go follow all the socials, Instagram, Twitter, and Twitch, especially. Bro. Hey, I'm w video, now. bro. I ain't gonna lie. You gotta tap into the Twitch. Make sure you go cop the brand, off brand. Link to the shop. Off brand, that's, that's a Join crazy the Discord name. too. We be live in there. And yeah, also, go Discord, tap into Motion Lifestyle. This is the beanie I'm wearing right now, and I'm gonna start wearing their beanies way more often. This shit is fire as hell. The link is in my description down below and in the comment section. So go tap in. Appreciate all y'all boys for watching. You know, I love all of y'all. Thank you and goodbye. Also, tell w me what video. video to make next. We out. Bitch. <laughs>